everybody. Come on in. Come on in. <coughs> out the cold. Come on. Oh, I've got a silly tickle. Come in. Out the cold. Out the cold. Shut the door. Keep it warm. <gasps> How are we? I hope everybody's okay. Right. So, this is what I did. They always look a right mess at this stage, don't they? <laughs> if you're new to me, you'll be thinking, what on earth is she going to do with that lot? These are my pages. So every page in here is done. And then I think they should all be done in here. That I'm going to keep that in case I decide to put some dates on. But unless I've missed any, I think I should be done in here as well. Yeah. Now some at the back, I've probably I think I left the very back because I don't know if that'll go in towards January. So I've done that. Oh, I forgot about that. That's lovely. At my age, one must ration one one's excitement. Exactly. So I'm going to add stencils now. And because I only have a smaller area under here, I picked some. My beloved snowflake, which is a swine to clean. So I normally keep that for ink, but I do love it on here. Uh, blocks. I've got Betsy's blocks. We've got some stars because it's sort of Christmassy. The quilt. Um, the court jester circles can't go wrong with circles Martha's mat the tyres, I like this up the side numbers oh, well, they've got no plastics numbers and a fancy floor so I'm just going to use those so again nothing massively exciting in here um, I'm just going to clip my hair up actually because it's driving me mad and I haven't got a hair clip so ping ping one of these I think this is one of Tim's I'm not sure let's see if that will hold <sighs> luckily you can't see me wonderful okay so I'm going to start off with this colour which was <coughs> excuse me pure sunshine blending tool foam not too much paint i say this all the time and people get tons and tons of paint it's quite warm in here so it's probably be hard to clean my stencils so i just work through the book i think i'll put some in there and i usually fold my book over so it's easier to work on so let's go with the top one let's go with the fancy floor oh and this is why i put them in plastics normally so let's have a little bit of fancy floor there and then i just keep turning the pages till i find somewhere else that needs oops flick around and i only do it on the pages that have already got this color on I don't add it anywhere else. Let's have some in here. And I usually, sorry, I'm just going to move that. I usually do it in my three areas. If it's a full page, you saw on the previous pages, I just did a little bit here and there. And I'm not going to do every single page with it. But here, I am going to go around the circle so I'm just going to go in a circular movement so it's just in that circle there I like doing that let's have some on this page get a little bit more you see how many pages I did before I had to add some more um, paint on that might be it for this book oh no we're only about halfway through right down the side in this one a tiny bit more and I usually do it as I go along but I just thought oh, I'll break it up into two videos for you so I'm just going to put some down the side and I think I will match it on this side as well so it's more of a frame really but a subtle one because it's in a lighter colour you see so that's that 
book and then let's go to this book and see what we've got in here page is fine that's greens did i put any red oh did i put any reds in here that yellows there we go even forgot what color it was tiny bit more I'll put a different colour in that one. Okay, so that's that stencil. So normally it's dry kitchen roll, but look, because my studio is warm, because it's it's evening and it's a cold day, so I've got the heating on down here. But it's warm to the studio. I have like really good king span insulation. So once it warms up, it stays beautifully warm. I have a little timer so it comes on at odd times during the day. So let's have now, let's do the blocks. So I'm just going to go back. I'm using the same colour, but I'm going to go on pages where I haven't already put some of the yellow because I don't want two lots of yellow. So, for example, this page, it's already there, so I'm not going to pop it on that page. It's already there. I don't think I need anything in that one. It's fine. That's already there. This one. I've got that song in my head. Um, what was it? The Gambler. Kenny. Um, what was his name? Was Kenny Gamble. <laughs> Can't think. Oh, he used to sing Islands in the. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. No, yeah, islands in the stream. That is what we are. With old Dolly. Run away with me to another day. Am I going the right way? Yes. So I don't think there was much in this page in that colourway was there we had a little look earlier oh marvellous there's one and it doesn't bother me that i've used the same stencils throughout you can only look at one page at once you won't remember what's in there Okay, so that is done. But I do have quite a bit of paint left on there. So I'm going to find a page. Maybe this page. And I'm just going to clean off my, um, I just like to clean it off because otherwise it's a waste really, isn't it? So now um, <clears throat> I'm going to do the red and I think what I'm going to do is, I 
think I'm just going to use this same blending tool. Sometimes if I'm just doing it on a night and no more, I just use the same blending tool. It'll come out like a DP orange. At first it'll look a bit orange, but then it'll just go redder. Because there wasn't, there's no point getting another one of these out, was there? So what colour should we have now? We had Fancy Floor, so I think maybe Stars. Stars is always good in a Christmas, in a December book. So I'm still on the red pages. And that's Cherry Pie, and I don't need anything on there. I just look and I think, oh, do I need something here? Do I need something there? Some pages I leave blank. I can always add some as I go. But if I'm taking this to the seaside, I won't have any paints for the seaside. I think I'm going to put some stars in that circle. So you see, you just place it like that and you just go round the shape. So you're going round the circle that was already there and can you see it goes in there um, just get yourself in a little bit of a rhythm if you've been on any of my classes you'll see that's what I do all the time I'm gonna use a different red I think let's have start you know in this one I'm going to put the stars across the top of the page. I'm not usually as specific, but I'm going to be. Okay. Um, that's that book. See how quick you can go once you get started. You can just fly through. The trick is not to be too fussy. Get over yourself. And um, you will be absolutely fine. Most of this you're not going to see anyway. A bit more. Once it starts dragging, that's when you want a bit more paint on. And all these techniques they're all online they're either in classes or there'll be free videos somewhere okay so let's clean this one get another stencil still with the red but i'm going to go on the pages that have the squares rather than the fancy floor I am roasting. Cook it back onto. Um, watch. Oh, let's use the numbers on the other one. So, any of the pages. In fact, let's have numbers on this first. so sometimes I just add a little bit here and there and other times I'll do the whole page and not every page needs to be singing and dancing This is the post box red. I always, always stencil in the same colour I used on the page. I never, ever get add a new colour. Never. You can if you want, but I, you'll just never find me doing that. I like it to be really um, cohesive all the way through. Okay. 
I, oh, if you're new, I always work this quick. You do not have to. Let's have some numbers. Oops. And that circle. Done. That might be this one. And normally when I had, would finish with the stencils, I would normally add borders. But I'm not going to with this one. I'm going to add them as I go along. I just think that will be a little bit different. So where was that page? With all the... That one. So I'm just going to offset that slightly so there's a little bit of a shadow on there I can show you actually on here what you do is you just take oh I could have sworn it was in this book <laughs> there so you just go to the side slightly when you get like this gorgeous shadow so that's that colour done so look at that you could spritz it with water if you want but I just put a baby wipe on it first to just soften the paint and then a piece of dry kitchen roll will bring that off wow gosh must be very very dry in here it'll come off um, next time I stencil if you can't get your paint off a, that looks like really dried that looks as if it might have been there before me I can't remember but if you can't get paint off next time you stencil it it will come off okay so let's just tip those that way I'm going to keep that out of its packet because I will clean that. So now let's go on to the, I'm going to go on to the greens. <clears throat> what did I have? I had cut grass and dirty martini. So I'm going to start with cut grass and this time I think I'm going to go with the fresh dots. So clean, clean, clean blending foam this time. There's no way I could use the red one. The trick with blending foams is, is blending it in like so. So again in my three areas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's work through this book. I think I'm going to go round the circle and then I'm just, I'm going to go down the side here. And then I can decide, are they going to be two pages? Are they going to be a single page? Oh, leave your options. Leave your options open. And again, try, just try not to think too much. You know, you can really overthink. To me, it's either one area or three areas, simple as that. And you don't want every page looking the same. So I always do at least two um, page, two stencils with the same colour. Because otherwise your whole book's going to look similar. And nobody else would notice, but you're, you would get fed up doing pages. If every time you came to it, you were like, oh, there's dots again. So 
so I just, you know, every green has probably got two different colourways. Right, now into here. I think there was more green in this book. There we go. Sometimes I'll just pick up the ready-made dialogue notebook. The one that's just got all the pages already done for you. Then you don't have to think about anything at all. And I'm going to put some else in there. Okay, so let's clean this one. My spit sit. I don't know. It's so warm. should do this first thing on a morning, shouldn't I, when it's cold in here. And then there wouldn't be a problem. Right, I think I'll have uh, the tyres. Oh no, let's have Martha's mat. I'll do the other green in Martha's mat. If you're fed up, feel free to just fast forward me. I don't get offended. I think I had a bit too much paint on my um, thing there. See how lovely it looks when it's just like on one corner, one edge. Thought I had another, maybe not, maybe not, not, not. Okay, I'm sure, I'm sure. Let me just check. Oh, no. So I think I'm going to put somewhere that, um, oh no, I've lost it again. <gasps> Am I going, so oh, there's a whole page there. Am I going, oh, there, that one. I think I'm going to put some down here. And I think I'm going to have some round here as well. Yes. And, um, where was that spare page? Because I can fill it up with this green. Oh, I came across it twice. Now I can't find it at all. There we go. So I've just gone hard around the edges and softer in the middle, and that's used up that but I'm going to use that for the dark green as well so now on to dark green much paint off here as I can. Oh. And this is um, this is one of my favourite colours still, the Dirty Martini. And do you know what? This season I'm just wearing um, a ton of khaki. is very like this. Here we are. Let's have these tyres. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes I actually use this stencil as Christmas trees as well, would you believe? Because look the way the branches go. In fact, in this one, I'm going to go that way, just right up the middle. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue. Um, so I've still got to use, what did I use? The um, cherry red. I've still got those two to use as well. And mushy peas. But it's just the same. I'm just going to be doing the same again and again and again. So um, I shall continue. Have fun doing yours. And... Um, on the next video I'll show I'll do each I'll show you each page as I've done so far. Okay. <laughs>